They can't hear you, Ron. Hermione, Ron, and Harry researched the secret of the Sorcerer's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Sorcerer's Stone. It was the Sorcerer's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Why would you take chances when you have the invisibility cloak? Do you ever use that here? Come on, let's go! Now they're done talking, that means I have to fill up the air time again. Oh nice, another card. What, now I can't pick it up? Oh, there it goes. Looks like a Quidditch player. Sort of looks like Oliver Wood, in fact. This way, Harry! Where else would I go? I briefly glanced the, to the left, and there's nothing in those areas. Good thing the cobwebs are ghostly and just go right through you. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. I don't think we should go in there. I agree. But we've got to stop Snape. Oh yeah, I forgot. Overruled. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. <laughs> Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. I'll try the flu. That might get Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful. What kind of a flute is this? Okay, look, I don't know what else to do here. Playing the flute, what, what, uh, this is, this is horseshit, what do I do? Oh, you have to get close enough for the dog to attack you. Sure, okay, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh my god, the individual heads don't stay asleep. Their sleepiness meters replenish themselves over time. I get that there has to be an element of challenge here and that video games have their own set of arbitrary rules, but how the fuck does it make sense that the flute can only put one head asleep at a time? I mean, I guess you could say that they have awful hearing, and but that's a stretch. Like, you could hear it from five feet away, but not eight feet away, and you can hear it over your own growling. Okay, that dog's head on the right, or its left, wakes up much faster than the others. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put the other two heads asleep quicker than I can keep it from waking up again. I can only manage two at a time, it's just to keep these two asleep. I'm not sure how to juggle in a third one. Okay, see, right there. The, the one on the right woke up again, and now the middle one is awake too, and I'm nearly dead. Come on. 
I'm not sure why getting any closer might help, but maybe if I'm closer it puts him to sleep faster. It uh, doesn't look like it. Oh my god, I might actually do it. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, well, okay. Of course I would die. I think I just figured out, though, that when the dog rears its head while showing its teeth that it's about to lash out, I guess. Oh, why can't I just pick these up instantly like I can with beans and chocolate frogs? Again, it looked cool the first few times, but at this point it just slows you down, it's annoying, it especially feels tedious when you have to do it again after dying and respawning. Uh, just... come on. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. I really wish save books were placed a little better so I don't have to watch these cutscenes again. You should just start me where I was, through the doors now. holding the flute. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. I mean, there's no benefit to watching this again. This monster fluffy. I'll try the flute. That might be fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful. Well, I wish I could say otherwise, but I'm not really sure what to try differently this time around. I forgot my own hint about knowing when the dog's head might attack. Although that at least confirmed to me the uh, visual cue of when it is about to strike. Oh god, please let this be over soon. Ouch. You fucking bitch. The one on the left has woken up again now too. <sighs> oh shit. I might make it. Okay, they're all asleep. Come on, do something. What the fuck? Oh, okay, good. I don't know what I did differently, though. I just got lucky, I guess. You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. You're not even gonna try Lumos to see if you can see the bottom? It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! What the fuck are you staring at? Come on, Harry. Oh, that's some creepy shit right there. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Next time I'm gonna pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. So somehow it was able to get Ron and Hermione, but it couldn't grab Harry? Okay then. Whatever. Yeah, they just keep popping back up. Oh yeah, I guess I should be focusing on the vines holding Harry's friends. Come on, when does it ever let go? And why are these hentai tentacles covered in thorns, too? Are Ron and Hermione okay, or are they gonna have multiple puncture wounds? I don't even know how big these thorns are. Shit, I forgot I'm supposed to be focused on the one holding Ron. Looks like Hermione's might be too weak to lift her up anymore, though. Well, I should have been able to do that more quickly, but yeah, I just suck. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. I guess they weren't stabbed to death by the thorns then. Oh, fuck! I should have realized this was coming up. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Good luck, Harry! 
Well, at least we didn't need to take any time to figure out which one of the one I need to chase. Somehow I lost it, though. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. I'm telling you, though, this is so much harder than it looks. The snitches and the key can turn on a dime so much more easily and quickly than you can even react. I like the notes that rise in pitch, though, as you get closer or at least slipstream behind it for long enough. Wow, I really fucked up and let it get away from me that time. Oh yeah, and just like the bludgers, the other keys are hurting me too, so... That sucks. Although if I have to try again, I guess I shouldn't be too pissed off. It's not like I would lose a lot of progress in this challenge, since you can seemingly make or break your proximity to grabbing the snitch in just a few seconds anyways. Oh, balls in my face! I keep getting close to it and it just pulls a sudden U-turn out of nowhere. Okay, here we go. So close, and just like that I faltered. For fuck's sake, it can change altitude more quickly than I can, too. Yeah, just like that. A sudden dive bomb. Uh, oh shit, okay. I'm rapidly clicking the jump key. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! I still don't understand how the grabbing mechanism works. It just seems totally random to me. A second chance. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, come on. Oh, how long is this gonna last? Oh, I thought I had it that time. Now, in all honesty, I have no idea what to do there. I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to actually grab it. I guess I could have used Google. Oh well. Um, and another hit like that and I'll be dead. I'm just... Hardly any life left. Yeah, just bang my knee on the stone buttress while I'm at it. That'll help. What? All of a sudden, just like that. Oh, I have no idea what the fuck I even did differently. Jesus, thank Lucifer that's over. Wait, how did you even unlock the door before Harry got back to you guys? You're just gonna leave the broomstick behind? Maybe you could use it again later. No? Okay. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's alright. Sounds like something you could have bypassed by flying over the chessboard with a broomstick, right Harry? You wouldn't have had to walk up all these steps either. Also, my health is back up halfway for some reason. Oh, Ron, are you alright? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. Hmm. <sighs> Judging by Harry, the... I was to trying to say pieces. something. They all move one square at a time. No, they we'll have don't. To let fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. As I was saying, judging by the urgency in Ron's voice, it sounds like he just got a leg cramp. He'll be fine. I'm pretty sure when one chess piece takes another, they don't get destroyed, too. They might sacrifice themselves and get taken the next turn, but... Wait, what the fuck is even going on? Oh, fucking hell, I don't know where to go. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've never played chess like this before. The blue side moved, like, three times in a row before their turn ended, and it seemed like every piece, regardless of what it is, does in fact only move one square in distance. Shouldn't half of them have a little more freedom than that? In fact, I'm not even sure what's, which side I'm on. Am I white or blue? I guess I'll just keep going this way. Not sure what difference it makes. Maybe I'll get lucky and all the pieces will destroy each other. There's only two left, and I guess I'll move away from them. Not sure if it would technically count as a win or not, but I would still get past the chessboard, right? Come on, let's go! 
Okay, cool. I'm still not sure how or why I won, but whatever. I did it in one try, and it's over with now. That's all I care about. Nice, a save book. Oh, I just had a thought. If I save there and jump off the edge, I'll get all my health back instead of being stuck with half of my life points. Oh, bullshit. They still have half of my energy, you fucking game. Oh, no! The exit is blocked by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Oh, great. One of those shuffling challenges. Well, I'll be okay as long as it doesn't go too fast. Now what? Oh, I swear to God, if the bad mouse control makes me accidentally pick the wrong thing... There we go. Just gotta position myself a little better. Here it goes again. Well, this isn't so bad. This is probably the easiest thing I've had to deal with so far since starting on this journey for the stone. Unless you count the chess game, but I'm not sure if that was easier or if I just got lucky by accident. Yeah, no sweat. I got this. That's really confusing. Eh, I'm actually still okay with this. I'm starting to feel slightly bored with it, though. How many more times do I have to do this? Are you fucking serious? It's right in front of me. I obviously want that one. God damn it. Now, that's ridiculous. Well, maybe, but... It makes me glad that I'm playing this on a modern computer where the frame rate is a constant 60 frames per second. If I had an older computer and it lagged hard in the middle of this, I'd lose my shit. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. You've got to find Snape on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Good luck, Harry. Yeah, I have nothing else to say.